This is actually a great method to do this. Come on up. Come on. Ow. Okay, he did get a hit in. All right. Hello. I think Vats is a good way to do. I think it's a good way to do. Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Permanent Roleplay, the place where we take a build, put them out in the world, and if they succeed, awesome, Hall of Heroes, and if they don't, well, then they're cut, and we start someone new. Let us join our heroine, Jessie, as we find her hiding among the fog in her uh, house that we've started in, in fact, the uh, Broken Down Residence, where we had our first drug dream and uh, where she began her adventure to become someone clean and make the world a better place. Now, I have uh, a little bit in a weird position, I guess is how I would describe it best. I was looking at the map, and first of all, you can see we have a level up, and uh, also looking at the map, I, did, I wanted to still look for Grey Garden. I know it's gotta be here somewhere, the robots, everything, and we're gonna find that eventually. And I was gonna fast travel, but then I thought about it, I was like, you know, we could walk here and just sort of explore stuff, maybe we'll find more people to help. So, I'm going to just hit that custom marker, and uh, we'll go from there and see how things happen. Maybe we'll find people with new stores and things to sell from, or whatnot, which all would be great. Alright, we got the HUD back on up, and uh, so that's looking good, and let's locate, there it is. This is directly south, and we will head to uh, the location on the map. Now, it is in fact a slight direction that we've already gone before, you'll recognize some of these things. But I figured that it's- oh man, there's only one person here, that's kind of sad. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's in this direction, We, although we've kind of gone this way, why not uh, explore it again? See uh, what new things we can discover. Anywho, so, man, the fog in this looks really interesting. Um, it's- ooh. <gasps> Are you a traitor? Was that- was it really that easy? Doing some trading? Hell yeah! yeah! So we, uh, we were managed to, uh, right, well, pick up some ammunition. We managed to pick up, or sell some of the things that we had on us. We have a little bit extra weight, which is nice to see. I mean, not a lot. 15 pounds more weight available. Uh, but it was at least nice to sell some things. Um, I guess, what weapon should- Hey dog, are you gonna leave us alone? Nope. No, you will not. One more shot for you, huh? Jeez. Do not like using ammo that just feels so wasteful sometimes. Like, uh, just, just too much. Just too much power for such a little thing. But I mean, what else are we gonna use? Use da 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 or the 10 millimeter? I guess we could use the machete, but our characters. Absolutely not designed for this. Oh, I'm really glad we have the extra scrounger. Hey guys. Hi. I was about to say I was really glad we have the extra scrounger perk, but I haven't really felt like we've picked up enough extra ammo to really make it seem like it's helping us. Um, oh crap, here we go. I mean, we're so powerful with the automatic. God, we just blew his arm off, that's fantastic. Um, whoo, nice, 38 rounds. Wow, they, okay, well, uh, thank you guys. I was just talking about how I felt like we didn't have enough of that. 38 round ammunition, there we go. Anywho, so we have this level up, and I'm debating on doing, like, a gun nut or something. Because gun nut, you know, would give us that fantastic little bit of extra power for our level ups. But I haven't gotten to... A bench yet to really see its use another thing we could do just a very simplistic one hit up more damage resistance we already have a really high damage resistance but why not get a little bit higher uh, I mean we also have the option to eventually at 11 level 11 pop commando up some more but I don't know med kits level 18 I'm not expecting us to use black widow quite yet we, we would probably do bloody mess before that um, but yeah I could see the damage resistance just you know, a nice, safe increase of something. Across the board, a little bit less likely to die. Sounds like a good plan to me, honestly. Getting quiet, because it's just so spooky. Hey, is this the place where the mole rats were and we killed the person because we were high on drugs? Yes, this is that place. You know, she might have things that are... Oh, we already kind of went through this place and tried to... Yeah, we did. Okay. 
Never mind. I was thinking that maybe she had something that would be beneficial. Something that would help us out a little bit. Okay. Big giant protector thing. All right. We got a bunch of weird houses and stuff in this direction. Can we go up on a... I don't... You know what? Let's stay on the ground. It's not that I'm scared of gunners. It's that I think there's more interesting things to see on the floor than there is up in the air. We're much more likely to run into somebody who needs help or somebody who has a drug and that will get us to kill everything. What is this? Ooh. I am really disconcerted in this fog. Mystic Pines. That sounds super familiar. I've been here before, that's why. This is... We're near Cordega Plant. That's what's going on. We're near Cordega Plant. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I know where I am. It's this fog is really throwing me off, though. Gotcha. Okay, let's, um... Let's pop our way through here. We're not gonna go and kill Raider Jared at the plant. We've killed him, like, every single playthrough. And uh, don't get me wrong. It's fun to shoot the guy in the face. Um... And it's also a very interesting place to, especially because we have this repeat process of experimenting with like a build and seeing how well it succeeds in whatever these situations are. Bummer. Like uh, we get to see how well it works in the, you know, the first starting area and we get to see how well it works in the next areas and damn it, that would be so nice. Well, at least we can take a quick nap. That'll be useful. Get a little health back. I feel like I should take some rat away and then get some health back. Hey dead person who's just hanging out here. Bathroom's exposed. Couch. I feel like I hear pitter-pattering somewhere. It might be just our character running around, though. Okay, well. Uh, this is a nice little courtyard and area, but... Uh, huh. Is this like an old person's home? I feel like it... It feels more like a motel to me. But it might actually be an old person's home kind of thing. Anyway, let's uh, head on out of this. I'm... I am lost inside this location. I'm trying to go south, and it's making this very difficult. Hmm. It is pretty. Like, an, an attractive-looking place. See, it's even got flamingos who survived nuclear holocausts. Gotta give them points for that. Okay, I'm... No, we're heading close to Cordega Plant, but... Once again, the fog... Is... Okay, I heard a voice and we're in caution. I think the plants in the... Alright, there should be uh, two raiders and an auto turret gun. And one down below too. Yeah, okay. I know where we are. Alright, we're gonna... Yeah, there it is. There it is. It's a, They've got a food cooking spot up there. Hmm. You know what? Let's take let's take it out. Let's go ahead. We might find some more ammunition. We uh will also like. Uh, holy crap! Where are they shooting from? I can't see them. Damn fog! All right, first person shoot. There you are. Okay. Where is she? She's down here. done this hundreds of times. Bottle wow, a lot of 38. Hey, oh, there you are. Oh. Uh, do you have anything else that I want? A napkin. This is an interesting thing for a person to have. Alright, so we have the auto turret down below. Ooh, a safe. I didn't realize that it was right there. I've never seen it before. Wait, is that? I see her. Whew, low health. Low health right now. On my, uh, I'm not trying to fast travel. On my personal playthrough, that's right, we have a shit ton of blood packs from the, um, uh, what the, the I forget what it was, but it basically they were drawing blood. Shit ton of blood packs from that. I didn't realize how many we received. That's a lot of health. Well, we're taking Psycho. Got a drug. Now I really hope we don't run into anybody who we can help because we will have to be killing them immediately. Uh, where's the Psycho? There it is. <gasps> Rawr. You know that raw? It's like what a child does, like rawr. Wasn't a very frightening rawr. Boop. 
Gotta say, I got a lot of ammo from these two. That's uh, we definitely ended. And this, sh Ooh. we'll take the short hunting rifle because of. All right, hold on. Point three away, right? Let's let's do an official check of our ammunition. That's uh, we're pulling out the point three oh eight. Seventy five and seventy two. Five and seventy three. You do in fact get a little bit more ammunition. Okay, that is officially a thing. Glad we got that figured out. I was very unsure after I was talking about it, and I was just like, nah, meh. now we know. You absolutely do get more for doing that. Gas canister, stuff, stuff, stuff. So, however, you get one bullet, apparently. And for an automatic weapon, one bullet's not a lot. But for like a, you know, a f missile launcher? I would say another missile is pretty useful. Let's see if I have anything that I can cook. If I could find my way up these stairs. Jump. Yeah. Uh, still, still a little high. You know, technically I could actually sleep, or er, wait off, um, the, the drug. Like, because right now with Psycho, I don't need to sleep. I could sit in this chair for an hour, and, uh, we'll let it go. But I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I, typically, as we talked about, our character, knowing that she goes crazy and kills people, um, would be, you know, wanting to be careful about when she takes these drugs, not because she can control when she's taking them, but because she's going to try to avoid taking um, and then doing a lot of traveling, which would potentially have her meet somebody who doesn't deserve to die. Um, but in, at the moment, I feel like if we're going to, this is a kind of a dangerous place. So I feel like we might actually benefit from having some psycho. This is what I'm thinking. Whew. What is in the water? Is that just a... Oh, that's a body just floating all the way to the edge. Okay. Taking the pipe auto pistol, that'll do. And the 14 ammunition, that'll also do. No. I feel like 50 cal, that's pretty cool. I'm gl happy to see that I feel like we're now, we truly are getting that extra ammunition. I was definitely a little uncomfortable on how things had been going. Um, more sleep. Okay, we'll pick up the shotgun. And, uh, oh, the body, that's right, the body's on the other side of the uh, thing now. Alright, can I, can I get it? Can I? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Uh... Okay, it's it's not letting me get anything. All right, we're definitely doing a rat away, and uh, we're we're taking a nap. We're doing a rat away and taking a nap. That'll do just fine. Am I addicted? Oh no, I'm on psycho. That's so I'm not actually addicted to something. I'm on psycho. Now psycho is worn off. Okay. Ooh, sunset in the fog is pretty. That's pretty cool too. So if you guys recall, there's a guy with a mini nuke who's over in this direction. Um, careful with him. <laughs> The best thing I could say. Just be careful with that guy around there. It's not pretty. It's kind of like, uh, I mean, it's it's like an instant kill if uh, you don't have a character who is kind of prepared for that sort of thing. All right, jump it over. We're almost to the my custom marker. Fortunately, it hasn't really taken us to any. We we did hit a trader, but I was thinking of like a mission provider. How close are we really? Very. Okay, so we've hit the Lexington's so Cordega plant somewhere around there. Well, let's... I guess I'm just going to set this here, and uh, we'll keep following it. Um, I don't know. I've We're going to just sort of keep discovering settlements and locations, I guess, as we move our way. There's the plant. I, I recognize that. That's where the uh, you know one of the bobbleheads is, is up at the top of that. Um, mass, gravel, and sand. We found a military frequency. Oh, fire support. No, we're not. We're, we're good. Well, okay, so this is the thing. Our character would absolutely help these guys out. Um, but I'm not too interested in doing the extra missions connected to it. Oh, that was good to climb up here and get a, a, bull, a bullseye view. I was thinking that because we literally have these guys in bullseye now. Oh, I... Oh, okay. Well, they're gonna... There's only one way up. 
Hold on, I guess I could machete them on their way up, too. This is actually a great method to do this. Climb up one of these. Let them come running up. Or at least a way to... There we go. Come on, guys. Come on up. Come on. Ow. Okay, he did get a hit in. Perhaps I will be using vats now from, in order to do this better. All right, hello. I think vats is a good way to do. I think it's a good way to do. Nice and safe. Next mole rat. Hello. All right, just macheting him out. Just one at a time. Back up. Yeah, this is working really well. It's a bloat fly. A rabbit. What's the difference between a rabbit mole rat and a normal mole rat? Right? They've never really come across as like nice creatures to me. I mean, they come across as uh oh. Is that? Mo I think it's going for the uh, the mole rat. I think they're fighting each other. This bloat fly is certainly showing its level of intelligence, which is. Oh god. I hear a voice. Which we're not on psycho anymore, so we are not gonna immediately kill whoever it is. And it's a raider, so yes we will. Okay. Hello, my name is Anigo Mentoya, blah 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 blah. Ow. Jesus Christ, you were a lot stronger than I expected. 38 round, glow sided piercing auto pipe rifle. That's interesting. We have we've been using a pistol. I wonder what uh, a rifle would do different. Oh, a weapons workbench. Well, that's pretty cool too. Can I, how many doors do we have here? Oh, this is nice. We got two. Okay, I can't close this door, but we do. This is a good spot. I'm surprised you don't have a bed in here though. But you do have a makeshift battery. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh let's see what we could create, and then once I get that bit, I can make a smarter, intelligent decision on what we're gonna be doing with that point. Okay, so I decided on Bloody Mess because I we have a lot of great level two gun nut improvement perks. I don't have the stuff to be able to do those perks though, and we're not exactly a sedentary set of people. So because we're not very sedentary, I don't really see myself being able to get some of those pieces of equipment. I did, however, upgrade uh, the 10 millimeter into a bunch much, much, much better weapon, but it's the costs of the level two ones were still high enough that it was, it's kind of pushing it. Now, I don't, th I think we will eventually get to take it, but I don't feel like I'll be able to collect all the equipment necessarily now, but I'm sure by the time I hit level 10, I should be able to have collected all the equipment that's needed. So that's, that's something good to keep in mind. Um, let's see. Things have gotten kind of scary looking to be a entirely honest the moon and the like does it make me feel very good this the moon isn't like broken or anything is it nah that would be a really interesting thing to have like uh, in adventure time the moon i think the moon's destroyed no that i don't know uh the world's definitely destroyed but i think the moon is de is destroyed too in adventure time uh i've seen in um ruby actually they had the moon get more and more shattered which i thought was kind of a cool effect oh i thought that was a person it was a phone booth just a phone booth Hello. This is like the cone of silence from, um, Get Smart. That was what it was. Or it's, uh, the Mel Brooks stuff. One of those, where it just, it was a joking spy film. Kind of like an Austin Powers before Austin Powers. Doing, oh, I hate these. Doing Mel Brooks style hu humor rather than the, uh, Mike Myers style. All right, well, I think, uh, I think it's, we can do this. Here we go. Holy shit, there's a lot of them that way, isn't there? Oh my god. That's a bloat fly. That's a feral ghoul. We're, this is a dangerous place. I'm unhappy here. I was hoping for some more civilization. We've just found more ruins. Wow, that's a lot of bloat flies. Um... I don't really know how to deal with this. I guess, here we go, one at a time. Or not, not one at a time. 
Well, we discovered a hospital. I don't exactly want to go inside of it. Ow, God. All right, is there gonna be a ghoul behind me or is it just gonna be a bunch of blowflies right now? That's what I'm most worried about. So far, so good. Good, good. Okay, definitely this guy. Oh, there's the ghoul. Def That's a lot of ghoul. Oh, hey. Reload. Okay. Okay. Here's another one. I hope these guys come with ammo. Cue ball can, cue ball toy alien. Yes, that's all the ammo I needed. Oh, a bottle clap. Clap. Clap, clap, bottle clap. Damn it. Still, holy crap. We did really well. We were able to handle all of this, but I'm, uh... I don't have, I have six, six rounds left. Crap. I just, I just kicked a corpse. Good. Okay, well, um, that doesn't make me too happy. We're now stuck in unfamiliar territory with hardly any automatic rifle ammo, whatever ammo. I don't care. Okay, dude. So anyway, I'm going to stop it here. A little bit of a scary point to be in. Like I mentioned, not a lot of ammo. Anyway. We'll see how our character does. I, just as a heads up, this character is not going to, like, fast travel to, you know, find... That was one of the things talked about, was, like, if you're in a sh bad situation, go find ammo yourself. Go walk out and find some ammo. Um, unless it's just, like, a boring situation or something. Anyway, dude, thank you so much for watching. It's a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And, of course, when the ground rises to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back, and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later.